So what type of home ownership do you have? Are you a renter or owner? Uh, owner. Okay. Um, the type of structure, is it single family, detached, multi-unit, townhome, multi-unit condo, apartment? Uh, yeah, single. Single detached? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And the day you approximately moved into your home? Uh, 1977. Oh, okay. Oh, you've been a homeowner for a long time. Oh, that's awesome. So, have you always lived um, in Kathleen? Yes. Okay. So, um, just tell me how your family or yourself ended up um, in Kathleen. Well, we uh, worked at the base of Fort Wayne as the same apartment. Uh, we worked at the Robbins. Okay. And what did you do there? Uh, I was there. IT tech. Oh, awesome. Okay. okay. That's like I said, that's really interesting, you know, that you've been out there for that amount of time. Um, and so um, you know, that's more of describe what kind of house you have. Oh, okay. So like you live in a single detached home, but kind of describe what the home okay. is. Okay, it's a two-story uh, structure, okay. and a metal roof. Uh, metal roof, okay. And then anything else you have to describe about your home? Mm, no, that's it. That's pretty much it, okay. okay. All right, so do you have a rooftop solar for your home? No. So tell me, uh, why do you not have the rooftop solar? Well, actually, the the cost involved uh, in the maintenance. So how do you know about the cost involved in the maintenance? How'd you find out about that? Well, did some uh, research on my own and developing stuff. Uh, when you look at the solar panels, you think they they require maintenance. And, and the cost factor, what each uh, panel would cost. Normally, uh, residential uh, solar panel could be economical, but there's one problem that you have there is uh, it requires the maintenance and the cost. As an individual homeowner, that can be a little bit costly, meaning that, for instance, you have uh, your wire where you we're going to set a landline, the electrical power and the landline. So that's already been taken care of. So if you switch over from panel from that to the solar panel, that's a cost there. So the cost that you're trying to save during the panel is going to go away. Okay. Um, if you had an option, would you put a rooftop solar on your home? Yeah. Oh, okay. Why? Why would you do that? Well, when it, uh, you have power outages, you still have power. Uh, uh, when I'm saying cost, you think about the panel and you think about the uh, storage. You have a battery. You have a, a battery that need to be charged uh, uh, depending on how many uh, person in your house, how many family members what the case might be, mm -hmm. how much, uh, how many kilowatts and all that stuff that they use. You say it would be good for like power outages and uh, yeah. what else? Well, it, it can be, you, you have to have enough, like I said, for emergency. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's what you look at right now. But mm -hmm. you can use it daily okay. uh, to run uh, all the uh, electronic equipment we have in the home today. Okay. So I'd like to talk a little bit about rooftop solar adoption in general. So here's a map of the. U.S. Oh, there should be one somewhere here. No, I got one in my office. Okay. Here's a map of the U.S. Um, and so, where do you think people um, have the most rooftop solar energy in their home? Could you draw that on the map? Put an X or a check. I would like to do it. 
Well, it'll be in the uh, southeast. Okay, just uh, yeah, you can mark it on there. From, <laughs> uh, most without uh, the southeast. You know what I'm saying? The southeast is supposed to be like that. You don't have to worry about snow, uh, uh, rain, damage to the panels because it's like that. If you're in this area where there's snow, mm -hmm. there's weight on the panels, and in other cases, you can see that right there from rain coming in. Okay. Um, if in the southeast, you're going to have the sun coming out of the east, and mm -hmm. and you they're not shaded. Oh, okay. The panel, you, you have more open space uh, right. in the southeast, uh, all the way over to. Uh, Okay. Just Two mark on those states where you think they're at. Okay, here we got level land uh -huh. all across here. Okay. Uh, we have sun. Uh, I have uh, noticed that they have several spaces in Georgia uh, on the uh, east coast. They have solar panel farms there. Okay. And they also have a uh, solar panel farm in the middle Georgia area, which is in uh, Taylor County. Yeah, they sure do. They have those. So and they have them in Effing County and um, Glen County and all those places as well on the coastal area. Mm -hmm. But on the thing with the coastal area, if you have a weather advisory where mm -hmm. high winds and all that stuff can have roof those uh, particular panels. Mm -hmm. But um, within the middle Georgia, uh, all the way over, like I said, to the southeast, mm -hmm. you have less uh, wind damage. Uh, what they say, a storm damage. Uh, if you had area in like in the coastal area, like the uh, Gulf, uh, you have something like on the east coast where you have weather condition uh, that can be ripped off the house. So there's a cost right there because those panels can come in. The weather can come in and uh, can pull those panels off the house there. Yeah. Right. On the rooftop, they keep coming on the rooftop. Mm -hmm. The basic thing that what uh, they are showing now is the uh, solar panel farm, which is attached to the uh, circle of the ground. Okay. Uh, and there's not that many uh, on the rooftop. Oh, okay. That's good. So why do you think people here um, have the most solar uh, on their rooftops? So it's in the areas you're describing. Why do you think they would use more rooftop solar? But you kind of answered in the yeah. no yeah. snow areas. Well, right. well, because the fact that it's the weather condition. If you put weight on the panels, uh -huh. they're gonna block. Gonna block the uh, sensors. Oh, okay. And if you in the north, you have batteries, battery freeze, uh -huh. which is your storage. Mm -hmm. So that's where you have maintenance come in in that area as well. So you're not gonna have that much. Um, area to store stuff. Okay. All okay. right. So let's just talk about the state of Georgia. You know where you stand. Um, and what community do you think in this in Georgia do you think people have the most solar rooftops in their homes? Now I haven't seen any in any homes. I've seen where uh, I'm, I'm gonna say cooperative. Okay. Uh, where like Glenda like to have some area, some other like the country. Mm -hmm. They have solar powers out there, but they don't have on the roof. Right. right. But if you were to think about it, just if they, you know, somebody had, what community you think in the state of Georgia, they would have, would, would have them? Well, uh, they can be anywhere where there's open space. You're not, you're not in the hill country, uh, mm -hmm. mountain area. Uh, I would say in the middle of the state. Okay, can you mark that area? Uh, the, uh, Talking about here mm -hmm. because the fact when the sun rises in the east, mm -hmm. they're gonna roll across the panel mm -hmm. on your house. Mm -hmm. But it, it depends on what type of roof that you have. Mm -hmm. um, basic thing when you're putting up, you're gonna have roof maintenance mm -hmm. and, and collecting solar. Mm -hmm. You have to have a lot of solar to collect and store the power, mm -hmm. or you can uh, sell it back to the uh, power company. Mm -hmm. You can do that. Okay. But you have to think about how much power will the, the average solar panel generate mm -hmm. to look at the cost saving. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. So what about um, most of your friends in Georgia? Do you do they have solar roof tops? Uh, 
I, I haven't seen any solar roof uh, on the rooftop uh, in in Georgia. Okay. None of your friends have them though. No. Or any no. people that you know. No. Okay. So why do you think they don't have it? Well, going back to maintenance and mm -hmm. and aesthetic of the uh, house, depending on what neighborhood they live in. Uh, if you're looking at uh, the area that we live in, everything is subdivision. Mm -hmm. So houses that go in now have uh, subdivision. Oh, I also mentioned, didn't mention this, that they are tests in the solar panel in Macon on the house roof. It's in a low, low income area. Mm -hmm. uh, it's on Houston Road? Uh, what did you say, Macon? It's a a housing project right mm -hmm. uh, past Mercer. You go back oh, to Mercer University. Yeah. Oh, it sure is. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Those are low income houses that the um, I guess the city put in when they built those houses. They put the roof in. Mm -hmm. uh, and I guess they had to re reinforce the roof and all that stuff. So there's no cost to the homeowner that because actually they are actually the renting those places. Right. So it's not like you're owning something. Right. So, right. Uh, so they have solar panels. Yeah, they, on and that's, it's looked at that good. They have it built in uh, where they can use it. Oh. Uh, I don't know what the cost saves or anything like that, but that's mm. uh, recollect that okay. particular place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. And it, it's off. Uh, that's over there off of uh, Forsyth Road. Mercer is, ain't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm about to go over there. That's, that's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it, it looks good. But like I said, with them, but they don't have to maintain that. Right. Like that. By the landlord. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, by the city or the right. county or the state. Right. That's, so that's a, because they couldn't afford it. Right. And they're yeah. renting it, so. Right. Okay. So you said you had a metal roof. If you did a rooftop solar, would that affect your roof warranty? Mm-hmm. No, it's paid mm -hmm. for, so it's, it's, that one. Yeah. Okay. 